Brazil is a pioneer in ethanol production and consumption. Today, ethanol is the preferred fuel used by drivers. For those who wonder if the clean and sustainable production of ethanol without negative impacts on food production is possible, they can find out by visiting this corner of the state of Minas Gerais. In the city of Itaituva, the Compañía Nacional de Azúcar y Alcohol has automated sugarcane cutting and planting operations, recycles the water it uses, and produces its own electricity. Most of the land that was once abandoned and eroded is now being used for production. The company's key to success has been to consider the community's interests and the environment from the start. Instead of purchasing wasteland from farmers at a low price for sugarcane plantations, the company has decided to help them instead. People leased lands that had low returns for cattle raising, and this increased the incomes of the local livestock farmers. They could tend to their cattle in smaller areas while we could plant sugarcane, the raw material we use for sugar and ethanol production. The next step consisted of regenerating the eroded lands. We performed a recovery of soils on these degraded lands using lime, plaster and organic materials, which has made a great difference. We use cereals for crop rotation. Ethanol and sugar production vary in accordance with the market demand. By burning sugar cane solid waste, the plant generates power for its operations and exports excess energy to the Brazilian electricity grid that has the capacity to supply energy to 400,000 homes. Over 1,000 workers have improved their quality of life and professionalism thanks to the training and benefits received from their new job. I don't get tired, I don't get back pains when I get home. The increase in manpower has led to major activity in the housing and business sectors. The former city mayor saw the opportunity to transform a subsistence-based agricultural economy to an economy based on industrial progress with a great future and brought the company to town. For the people of Ituataba, the CNAA has without any doubt taken the lead in promoting entrepreneurship, employment creation and rural work modernization. The most prestigious global investment institutions have financed this project. The Inter-American Development Bank played a role in guaranteeing that investor environmental requirements be met. In order to screen out projects that may have a negative environment, in terms of what? In terms of land, in terms of labor, in terms of efficiency, and in general, in terms of affecting the environment. There is talk about duplicating plant capacity, attracting new business, creating new roads to new professions for coming generations. A real beauty is how locals describe this perfect business endeavor.